Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video and in this one I wanted to show you Eucalyptus postiflora um, commonly known as snow gum it's an actually quite a famous species and sorry I just got to film it now um, it's called snow gum because it's native to this um, to the tree line or the sub tree line alpine area in southeast Australia there are three subspecies of Eucalyptus postiflora. There is subspecies postiflora, there is subspecies nephophila, and I think the third one, I never remember how to pronounce it, it pronounce it. It's um Thebusivili or something like that. <laughs> uh, but I believe the Eucalyptus postiflora, subspecies postiflora is actually the least cold tolerant postiflora out there. Uh at least yeah, the least cold cold tolerant. Um it's despite being snow gum and grow at the tree line in Australia, it doesn't actually survive very well in the continental US, uh, especially you know in the northeast, um, because it's a different kind of cold and different kind of freeze um, here versus Australia. Um, some of the features of Eucalyptus potiflora is that um, let me try to find an adult leaf. Um, well, let me start with the juvenile one. Maybe I can get some clues here too. Um, the juvenile leaf are, again, bluish um, green instead of green green. And the other prominent feature is that the leaf veins will become almost parallel um, in its adult leaf. If I can't find an adult leaf, um, hopefully this will focus. Hmm. It did not focus. Let me find another adult leaf um, that doesn't really need to see it um, through light. Maybe that's a better um, angle. But yeah, so those are the juvenile leaves. Uh, it doesn't grow quite fast. It doesn't grow as fast, especially in the earlier stages of its life. But it does quite catch on a little bit after a few years in the ground. Mm. And while I walk to find you an adult leaf, um, just a fun fact. It's called Palsiflora because um, I think Palsi actually means few and flora means, you know, flowers. Um, so the common name means it's few flowered, which is not true because it actually has a lot of flowers. And it's called not many flowered because I think of when people first saw it. I don't actually know what happened, um, but that's just a fun fact, I guess. Um, and I cannot find any good... Um, fresh adult leaves but I see some on the ground so maybe that will do mm. let me see um, that did not do um, I really don't want to give up let me try again And if you wanted to grow Palsiflora because it's native to the more alpine area, some of its seed will, um, some cold stratification will definitely help with the germination. And um, I'm afraid this is the one that's closest to me. So let me try again. Did not work. Okay, this is probably good. Um, it still has some color to it. Um, so you can see here is the mid vein and some of the side veins, um, if you remember in Corimbia, uh, side veins are at very wide angles to the mid rib. And in Palsiflora, it's actually the other extreme. They're almost parallel to the mid rib. And this is a very important um, identifying characteristic of the species. They have almost parallel veins. Um, yeah. And so there you have it, Eucalyptus Palsiflora. Um, really handsome species, highly recommend you to give it a try. 